Oh, the smell of fresh, hot bread attracted me here in this, in this supermarket and just have a look. It's only nine o'clock, but some shelves are empty already because all citizens of this smallest city in Moscow region want to eat for breakfast fresh bread mm. and fresh croissant from this wonderful bakery oh my god yes yes it's truth my dear viewers today i am in the smallest city of moscow region its name is veria and its population is only four four thousand and nine hundred people and that's all and they have five big supermarkets and i decided to show you one of them it's to my liking really let's check out together the prices in the smallest city of moscow region really it's not a village it's not a town it's the smallest city Veria and just have a look I see the abundance of everything here and what about prices uh, let's start let's start with the sausages my favorite sausages so I see sausages with discounts uh, two dollars for for a rather big pack so it's approximately 500 grams two dollars for uh, so four dollars for one kilo yeah right down in commons is it good price and i know exactly it's very 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 tasty a little bit smoked sausages it's nine o'clock only nine o'clock in the morning and i see uh, i see some customers here already and the staff uh, put tasty food on the shelves there are a great deal of uh, bacons and uh, uh, smoked meat and prices are really very nice 100 rubles for 150 grams of bacon yeah that's great it's cheaper than in Moscow so uh, this city Veria is uh, located just uh, on the border of Moskovsky district and uh, Moscow region and Smolensky region uh, far from Moscow 100 kilometers maybe a little bit more and the prices are really nice and the quality of uh, of food and goods I see it's so fresh and uh, high quality yeah and price is really low 100 rubles for 100 grams so what does it mean it means one gram of this wonderful sausage costs one ruble one ruble one gram great uh, and what about fresh meat I, I don't want to disturb the stuff uh, because they work here but let's see something again a lot of discounts you see the price for pork for example 180 rubles for 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 how many grams 400 grams have a look it's very very fresh i'd like to eat it mm. and what's this looks very nice ah it's beef it's beef 350 grams 290 how to count in dollars you have to divide by 75 because today the rate of exchange is one dollar uh, is approximately 75 rubles if i remember rightly as for me i love chicken and uh, have a look at this it's a special dish of chicken tabaka i don't know how to translate it i think um it has no translation just the name of the dish uh, 270 rubles so uh, approximately how much is it in dollars yeah that's right three and a half dollars for one kilo of wonderful spicy chicken great i love this city 
I, at the end of my video and watch my video till the end please because I'm going to show you the historical center of this smallest city in Moscow region yes guys I'm not joking um, I have uh, free time today and I'm going to film for you the historical center of this city with its historical market food market I think you'll like it but first of all grocery store with its prices let's go on who told me in comments that Russians eat uh, not fresh rotten and spoiled uh, food have a look it's sparkling it's really very very fresh all food is fresh in Russia and this is a really big store for this small city Wow, you know that it's the basement for, uh, for, for cooking in Russia. I mean, uh, sunflower oil, we use it everywhere and it's healthy, why not? And the price is really low, approximately one liter, less, okay, not less, but one dollar, one dollar for one liter. Isn't it good? And as for me, I love this uh, oil. It's with uh, the taste of sun, with the taste of sunflower. And I want you to count the kinds of uh, sunflower oil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I counted 13. And you? And my dear viewers, can you only guess how much does the salt cost in Russia? I will show you one moment. It's nine rubles for one kilo of very good high quality salt. Nine rubles is something about 12 cents for one kilo. Yaros, welcome to Russia! The city Virya was founded in 1371. Now it's new, modern, small, small, cozy city with a great deal of different kinds of eggs. My favorite eggs. You know, I love it and I try to show you the prices in every city, every village I visited. So, here is the lowest price is 63 rubles for 10 eggs. Let's see what kind of eggs, is it good or not? 63 rubles is about something about maybe 90 cents, no, not 90, 80 cents for today. So, 8 cents for one, one egg. Brilliant! Brilliant! What do you think? Of course, you can buy a little bit uh, more expensive for 75 rubles and even the best the biggest eggs for 105 well let's see just to compare it with these cheap eggs what's the difference yeah it's bigger and uh, this egg looks more attractive i would say <laughs> it was a joke so i don't see the difference maybe Maybe uh, the taste is better here, but I'm not sure. So everybody can choose according to his taste and, uh, and uh, budget. While I'm moving to the dairy section, I'd like you to know that this city, Virya, um, guided the western borders of Moscow province so uh, it was very very important city and it's a paradox but at that time in middle ages it was the biggest city of Moscow province of Moscow region and now this is the smallest let's continue the dairy section here is also abundant and just have a look different cheeses 
a lot of cheeses and uh, butter. As for me, uh, I use a lot of butter. Uh, I add it in the porridge, in cereals every morning. I think it's healthy. And what do you think? And mayonnaise, uh, yogurts, a lot of kinds again. And uh, let's check out price. For example, this one with the discount. Uh, half a dollar for 150 grams, different fillings, mm, rather good, looks good. Mm, good and attractive. Yeah, it's even cheaper, 25 rubles for yogurt with pretty cat on the cover. And what about, what about milk? <laughs> so what's the price for milk? I see uh, the cheapest milk here is 60 rubles for, again, approximately one liter. Um, I don't know this trademark, I hope it's well, uh, with fat 2.5% of. Uh, Rather good prices. Will you write down in comments, my dear viewers, uh, the price for milk in your country? Because it's very interesting for me just to compare prices. And this is what sour cream. Do you use sour cream? I use it also very often. So 100 rubles for 300 grams with discount. Great price. And again, these trademarks are Afano with cat. Uh, it looks really very, very pretty. <laughs> what I have noticed, people here in Viria are very hospitable and are very welcoming. Everybody wants to help me to, um, to tell something interesting about uh, the city. And I will tell you all I know at the end of the video. Oh, this section is pasta section yeah let's see something again the smallest city and uh, and maybe 20 or more kinds of pasta my dear Italian friends do you have 20 and more kinds of pasta in your small small Italian cities I hope yes because it's your traditional dish so um, Let's check prices for Barilla, for example. Again, I see discount, 80 rubles, so uh, $1, almost $1, so for 450 grams. And again, uh, 80 rubles for spaghetti, Barilla spaghetti. Of course, we have uh, very cheap uh, trademarks. Uh, for example, this this one, just only 45 rubles for 400 grams. That's nice. And the healthiest food, doshirak. Mm. My friends had a party yesterday and uh, they, they were drinking a lot of alcohol. I don't drink, you know, <laughs> but and today uh, they woke up and uh, asked me to buy some doshirak for them. It's good after, after a lot of alcohol <laughs> in the morning. And what about, what about buckwheat? Do you know, my dear foreign viewers, what, what uh, buckwheat? buckwheat means so all russians love it almost all russians i don't like it so much but it grows everywhere in russia and it's really healthy healthy um food so here is the price is very low one dollar for uh, from one kilo for 900 grams not one kilo now it's a special trick uh, to produce um, such packs.
and what this polba I know that it's for healthy food again but um, I don't use it if you have uh, some recipes maybe um, write down in comments please with uh, polba I mean recipes with polba 128 rubles so less than two dollars I don't know what to do with this <laughs> how to cook it as for me I love oatmeal just this ordinary typical oatmeal um, just 15 rubles 15 rubles for 400 grams I buy exactly uh, like this oatmeal I know guys that you like my reports from grocery stores and um, especially when I show you toilet paper so what about toilet paper in the smallest uh, city of Moscow region? So towels, towels, and then, and then, and then. Uh, toilet paper is expensive nowadays in, in all cities everywhere in Russia. I don't know why, uh, but with discount, it's affordable, I think. 160 rubles, so $2 for, for eight rolls for eight packs this is very very good uh, um, toilet paper with the uh, with the smell of bali flowers mm, do you love to travel bali my dear viewers and every time i am not tired to thank you for for your love and for your support for your attention and for your donations it helps me to uh, develop my channel and to travel all, all around Russia. All I do, I do for you. Oh, guys. I suppose that people living here are all sweet tooth people. <laughs> Have a look. Great deal of candies and chocolates for this small town for four thousand and nine hundred people <laughs> and candy oh I love this it's plums in chocolate um, 60 rubles for 100 grams very good prices and do you remember this batonchiki batonchiki and the trademark is rot front very popular in my childhood and i see it here 45 rubles for one for 100 grams and again historical candies historical russian candies moo moo it it's how the cow uh, may say moo moo 26 rubles for 100 grams it's kind of I don't know what, uh, but very delicious, believe me. And what else? Candies, candies. Um, I'm not sure Alpen Gold is a pure chocolate, but it's, it's so delicious. <laughs> Again, with different fillings and even white chocolate. And the price you see is uh, less than 80 cents. And you know already what's this? Alenka historical Russian chocolate. 70 rubles for 100 grams. And again, Alpen Gold, Milka. And of course, of course, sneakers, Twix, Milky Way. And uh, the most expensive chocolate candies for, for more than $1 for 100 grams is Mask, the Mask. All Russians know it very well. I can say it's, uh, it's to my liking. It's not my thing. It's better for me it's better for me something like this apricot in uh, in chocolate or apricot apricot in um, 
in yogurt or something like this. 60 rubles for 100 grams. Whew. The section of teas. Just have a look. Again, different kinds. I even don't know this. Silky rose heap, famous cologne, magnetic mint, jasmine blossom. Oh my God, it drives me mad, but I don't drink teas. <laughs> yeah, really, uh, Veria was the biggest city in uh, 16th, 17th centuries because, because it was a trade center and a lot of merchants uh, lived here and even now we can see here in this city the houses of merchants of 19th century and now we live in yes in 21st century oh guys <laughs> I think you know better than me now what's this class Russian traditional beverage so the price for two liters is less, less than uh, 100 rubles. That's nice. Authentic taste. You have to come to Russia to taste all this. And first of all, kvass and vodka. Ah, and what about vodka here? I see only uh, necessary things for women. And uh, delicious food for for pets ah let's see the prices prices are really low 20 rubles for one pack but m my cats don't eat it they eat only fresh meat i order uh, a special fresh meat uh, for them not this Oh, I see it. Ah, alcohol section. I don't know what to start with because because I don't I don't drink it. But ah, somebody asked me to show the traditional bottle of stolichnaya vodka. Yeah, have a look. Russian vodka, stolichnaya vodka. Uh, it's good for present, and uh, I see. I see different kinds of it. Um, looks wonderful. Of course, not tasting there. <laughs> 340 rubles, 380 rubles for half a liter. So prices are similar to Moscow prices. I think the same. Um, 700 rubles. Uh, it's about uh, eight and a half dollars for one liter. And you have a choice. If you want to drink, you're welcome. <laughs> At the end of 19th century, the first railways were laid, but not through this city, through other cities. And that's why at the end of 19th century, this wonderful trade merchant city, Viria, lost its attractiveness now it's the smallest city but but very very cozy very very cozy watch my video till the end one minute here and let's get started our trip to the historical center but um i'd like you to show fruit and vegetables as usual um wonderful tomatoes and these are the perfect tomatoes. I love it so much. It's honey tomatoes, so sweet and, and nice. I bought it in Moscow uh, twice or, or more times. Uh, so 160 rubles, $2 for 200 grams. But it, it worth buying and worth eating. And uh, as well, these tomatoes. So in, a, in the smallest city of, of Moscow region, I see everything the same. Just have a look. The same as in, in Moscow. Oh, oh, I think I, I want to eat it right now. Mm. And um, three kinds of 
yellow tomatoes only. Have a look. Really fresh, ripe. And what's here? Mmm, fruit section. So, empty shelves. Not empty, but here is here was mango. Mango is not ripe in, in Russia. It's import uh, fruit. That's why I, I don't I don't buy it. But as for bananas, bananas are, go are very good. Lemons and even even peaches. You see, price for peaches two hundred and ninety rubles. Two hundred ninety. Yeah, and as for avocado, oh, so soft. I love such avocado. And so the price with discount is. Uh, five dollars for kilo five dollars for kilo of avocado and plums kiwi uh, mm, have a look at this <laughs> sorry guys have a look at this pass wonderful wonderful i want uh, sorry i touch something today i want to do it and i am um, every time i do what i want <laughs> 180 rubles with discount, but it's very nice. It's a little bit more than um, two dollars for one kilo. And different kinds of apples and nuts. Hmm, very good a walnut and almond, a cashew. If you don't mind. I will try it as usual. Mm, very nice. And what's here? Everything. Zucchini, beetroot. 21 ruble for one kilo. Zucchini is 130. Very nice. Very fresh and so ripe and so young. <laughs> Mm. Ginger, carrot, cabbage, onion, uh, four kinds of potato, garlic, eggplants, and again tomato, tomatoes and um, cucumbers. Okay, I have to go. Are you with me? The most interesting part of my video is just beginning. I'm in the very heart of old city Feria and uh, have a look what's behind me. Um, ancient merchant ro rows. Uh, I mentioned before that this city was a trade city and was a big city uh, in middle in middle centuries and uh, I want you to see a little bit what's going on now in merchant rows inside. Let's have a look. It's very nice to see this uh, old building after restoring works and even the pavement. Have a look. It's the same as it was in previous centuries. And have a look at these benches. Also old-fashioned style. And citizens uh, told me that this um, this is a special equipment to tie your horse while you are having rest here on this bench. Wonderful! <laughs> and there was an old Kremlin walls. Now it's a little bit in ruined. But merchant rows are perfect. And let's have a look what's inside. Oh, is this man a merchant? Oh my gosh, have a look. This merchant city is still very, very rich. And this merchant rose looks like this inside. 
like a local market. Very, very nice. With wonderful and delicious food. Meat looks so fresh. It's like breezing. <laughs> and what about prices here? So 370 rubles for the best pork and 350 rubles for pork and 310 rubles. Oh my God. And you see a lot of people here. This city uh, was invaded for many times in its history. First of all, Tatars in 15th century, then Polish troops, then Lithuanian troops, then in 19th century French troops with Napoleon. Uh, after that, in 20th century, German troops. So, as I mentioned before, this wonderful, cozy, rich city guided uh, the western borders of Russia, of Moscow region. And now, have a look. The smallest city with a great infrastructure and with everything so nice for living here. Quiet life and good people and a lot of a delicious farmer's food. I am amazed. Just close your eyes and imagine how, how this merchant rose looked in 18th and 19th centuries. Mm, my mouth is watering again, as usual. And it's a great, great space for spending a wonderful time, for buying uh, food and uh, different goods. So, strawberry is 500 rubles, uh, more expensive than in Moscow. I bought it yesterday uh, for 300 rubles in Moscow. All you need for normal life and you know what is this traditional delicious Russian dish uh, just uh, uh, low salty uh, cucumbers it's, it smells so nice with garlic mm, my dear viewers you are always welcome to our beloved Russia my dear viewers, Veria is situated in very picturesque landscapes and there are six old Russian Orthodox cathedrals here in the smallest city of Moscow region. I had a strong desire to show you a little bit of Orthodox culture and so we are not far from, from uh, the cathedral of the entrance of the Lord to Jerusalem. It's closed. It's a gorgeous place, really, in the wilderness of, uh, of Russia, somewhere very far from Moscow, more than 100 kilometers. <laughs> and it's closed. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, this wonderful, wonderful couple picked me up and, uh, and uh, helped me to get my point of destination. And <laughs> They live here. Uh, are we счастливы здесь? Are you happy here? Yeah, they live in this in the smallest city in Moscow region, and they are happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> A clean air. Uh, A quiet, quiet city. Very, very cozy. Uh, in, in, the infrastructure is perfect <laughs> for pensioners as well. Thank you, спасибо вам большое. I couldn't catch the taxi, and they really helped me. Uh, and we were chatting during the way. Uh, have a look at this forest. Oh my God! And they told me about their quiet quiet happy life here in this video the smallest city and here is the link to my best videos about russian villages russian countryside